Hello everybody, this is Tyler with Norlab and today we wanted to talk to you about CIFA. What is it and why do we as lab planners and designers care? Laboratories are high demand environments that require high performance furniture. And the typical life cycles for laboratories are anywhere between 15 to 20 years with pretty limited refresh cycles inside of them. If we incorrectly specify the laboratory FF&E, we can cause problems like more cost for our clients as they have to refresh the spaces sooner, and that we have to keep everybody working safely. So how do we mitigate these risks? CIFA, the Scientific Equipment and Furniture Association, an organization of manufacturers that have come together to create standard practices and performance testing for laboratory fixtures, furniture, and equipment. In the CIFA desk reference, they have organized this material into categories, which I'll read for you here. They are fume hoods, installation, work services, glossary of terms, scope of work, fixtures, casework, ductless enclosures, adaptable systems, and liquid chemical storage. For each of these sections, they have a glossary of terms, recommended best practices, and a couple of other good things to take a look at. They also provide physical testing standards that ensure the furniture and equipment meet the rigorous requirements of the laboratory, and these can include flammability, impact, load, chemical resistance, torsion, cycles, and strength testing manufacturer submits a product to them for testing in a certified lab. When that product passes, they get a certificate that says that they passed, and the manufacturer gets listed on their website under the category of the product that was tested. And that's how we, as designers, can make sure that we're using product that was tested and meets that standard. In summary, laboratories are high demand environments that require equipment and furniture specifically made for that environment. Using CIFA ensures that we can meet our clients' performance requirements while still meeting their return of investment expectations, and it lowers our risk as designers. By the way, we have to be really careful because sometimes people will say they are built to the standard and not tested to the standard, which are two different things. And that's it. That's the video on CIFA. You can find a link to the CIFA website in the description below. Next time, we're going to present information on countertops and how do you pick the right material for your laboratory. Thank you for watching and see you next time.